All right, I'd like to introduce you to Space Cockpit's latest feature, which is Sentinel Alerts. Um, this is a program that will allow guardians to create their own customized alerts that are specific to their requirements. To access uh, the Sentinel Alerts, you must be logged into the UDL, which you can see here I am in the bottom left-hand corner, indicated by this green uh, button down here. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to open the Alerts tab and click on this Edit button to bring up the Alert Definitions table. To add a new Alert Definition, click the Add button, type in the NORAD ID of the satellite you would wish to create the alert for, and based on the regime you'll see a number of pre-canned alerts or a custom alert. These pre-canned alerts will give you an idea of what um, fields need to be filled out to give you, for example, a proximity or RPO or a drifting threat uh, configuration. Um, or you can com create a completely customized alert as well. So we're going to create a geo proximity alert here. We're interested to see whenever someone comes close to 40258 here. So when we click OK, we can see 40258 is Lucha Limp. This will update in real time, depending on what you enter into here. Description of the alert is what will appear in um, the subject line of the email that is sent. You can configure the level of the alert, info, warning, or critical, and this will change the color coding uh, when an alert is triggered in the sidebar. The mode, internal versus external. Internal alerts will trigger only on changes to the primary satellite. So in this case, if 40258 changes its orbit, then an internal alert will trigger in that circumstance. An external alert triggers on every other satellite other than the primary satellite. So because we want to find everyone who's coming close to Lucha Limp here, we want to have an external alert. The trigger condition, once, daily, or every time, um, is pretty self-explanatory. Emails, a list of comma-separated emails can be provided here. And whenever an alert is generated, you will receive an email. Similarly, at unclassified deployments, we can send SMSs. Once again, CSV if you need multiple. The email message override. This field will allow you to provide a Rubicon of um, a lookup table, essentially. So if you can put in here your own code, and then you can look this up um, at a later point in time. So if you're not wanting to send classified uh, emails, for example, um, and you don't want to give away uh, what things you're interested in looking at, you can put in a custom uh, text string in here and have your own lookup table on the back end. Similarly, with the mobiles and SMS, you can override the default messages that will be displayed. If you supply nothing here, a default email template will be used that will describe the details of why the alert was triggered. Here you can see the filters that have been created uh, for this particular scenario. So because we wanted a proximity it, and it's a geo satellite, it's going to match on all other satellites that are in the geo regimes and their longitudes are plus or minus one degree from Luch and their longitude drift in degrees per day is less than one um, degree per day. So you can add other conditions in here too. If you want to refine this down further, you might only be interested in inclination matches as well, for example. So all of these conditions within this filter must be evaluated to true for the alert to trigger. If you add a whole nother filter group, then these groups are ORed together. So all of these conditions must be true or all of these conditions must be true. So you can set up quite complex alerts using this structure. When you've created your alert, um, you can hit this save button here. Just one more thing, there are some variables that you can inject into the descriptions. So the secondary sat number will actually replace this variable with the secondary sat no in the description when the alert is triggered. And same with the primary sat number. So there's two variables that you can inject here um, if you would like to. 
So once you've saved this alert, we can see it's now being created into our alert definitions. Uh, and what will happen now is whenever new data is received, it will run that data past all of the alert definitions to see if that new data triggers any of these alerts. You can come in here and edit your alert and change whatever you'd like uh, or delete it. So there are some alerts that I've looked at previously. You can see they're green because they were info level. Um, if it was critical, it would be red, for example. Um, if you select the alert, it will propagate you to the time of the alert and also drop the two satellites into the scene. If you acknowledge alert, it will hide it from this sidebar um, and you can toggle on acknowledged alerts here. Okay, I wanted to give you a quick look at what the alerts look like once the emails are sent. Um, so here is the production uh, Looch proximity alert we just created. Um, so first of all, we can see there is a link to space cockpit, which is a hyperlink. When you select this, it will load up space cockpit um, and drop those two satellites into the scene. Um, all the details of the alert are given here, the primary satellite, the secondary sat that triggered the alert, the filter that specifically was triggered to create this alert generation, um, and the specific value that was matching in the alert. So we can see here the longitude match um, is within plus or minus 0.5 degrees. We also supply all of the filters um, that made up that alert as well. And finally, one more thing. Um, once you're in the alert view, um, just make sure that you remember to exit the alert view here. So you can see the two alert satellites get added as custom satellites to your scene. Um, and you have to actually exit the alert view in order to uh, re-add other satellites into the scene. And that's it. We hope this tool is uh, very useful and helpful to all of you. So let us know what you think.